Hello and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've made a lightsaber video or any type of like normal YouTube video on this channel. I've started college, so I have less free time on my hands. However, Alibaba has recently went on sale. They're pretty big discounts and I decided to pick up two lightsabers, uh, which is one in this box. And then I have another one, which I'll do another video on later. This one is um, awesome because the recent show uh, everyone is talking about it, Ahsoka, is at the moment doing really well. Um, I believe episode 5 came out less than a week ago, but enough talk. I know you're here to see the lightsaber, so let's go ahead and open the box and see what's inside. So since it is a standard TXQ uh, lightsaber, it just says saber on the front in Orabesh, which I still really like that touch. So we have this baselet blade plug. Of course, it comes with two. They put them in separate bags, which it's kind of weird, but okay. It's also weird because they put both the charging cables in the same bag. Um, they also have your blade retention screws, Allen key, and another screwdriver all in the same bag. They put all of this in one bag, but they don't put the blade plugs in the same bag. It's a little weird. The next bag, I don't know what this is. Maybe it's some sort of cover tech wheel. It also comes with two manuals. Uh, this is an SM Pixel V4, so it does have Bluetooth um, and it is one of the budget friendly Neo Pixels. So that's also why I got it. Next, we have the blade. I don't know how long these are. I can say for sure they're less than 36 inches. Um, I have to get the measuring tape and I can say that at least this blade is about 26 inches and then it does come with a second blade okay it is a 32 inch blade so they provided two different lengths which is really nice and it also makes it um, canonically accurate because they're not the same length because ahsoka does use a shoto lightsaber so it's nice that they provided two different lengths next we have the display stand it's in a box uh, they provided them in two different boxes I don't know if I'll be using these. I do have separate ones that I prefer better. However, we are going to open these and show you what they look like later in the video. Skipping past all the boring stuff, we now have the hilts and bubble wrap. So we're gonna go ahead and take these out of the bubble wrap sleeves and show you the hilts. Here is her main lightsaber. Uh, this thing is really big. I, never, I can't believe they're actually like this big. It reminds me a lot of like a katana style hilt with the curved and then like the little uh, diamond patterns on it. I can already tell by the way this feels, I think this might be decent spinning. It might be a little too big. You might have to grip more in the middle instead of near the top of the emitter, but it's still pretty nice. And the blade sits pretty far in there. I believe the NeoPixel sensor is like right here. So it sits in pretty deep. We have the other saber, her Shoto saber. It is a lot smaller, but it's also pretty big uh, and again this also sits pretty deep inside of the hilt so these blades should be very secure inside of the hilt when you're spinning or dueling okay so when you take out the display stand in the box it looks like this they're really nice uh, I'm gonna leave these in the packaging to save them for another time because I don't think I'll be using these um, but to show you what they do look like built I do have a spare one from a previous lightsaber. Uh, I believe this was from my TXQ Cal Kestis lightsaber. But basically, when you take off all of the wrapping, it looks like this. And then there's like a, another piece. All you got to do is just put the pieces inside the holes. And when you put the pieces in the holes, they should look like this. Just a pretty normal uh, lightsaber stand. And then if you put the hilt on it, it doesn't matter too much how you put it but this is what it would look like and then here is the shoto with how that looks on the stand now i'm going to put on the blades because i know you guys want to see what they look like when they turn on so they do come wrapped with like a little cap i'm going to take them off take off all the wrapping and show you what it looks like powered on also these are the thinner blades these are not the standard one inch blades so I just want to let you know that these blades will not work with a standard uh, NeoPixel lightsaber. Standard as in being the ones that hold the one inch uh, diameter wide 
uh, NeoPixel blades. Okay, so now that we have both blades screwed on, I believe these are the power buttons on the side. Are They are these black buttons with this like rose gold ring around them. So I'm gonna press and hold them and then power them on and show you what that looks like. Since these are SM Pixel V4s, um, they are the budget-friendly NeoPixels, so you can't fully customize them. However, you can change the fonts and all the sounds. You can change the colors, the effects. You just can't do any of the fancy like dual color blade effects or it, while it's spinning, it changes colors. Um, but like I said, for a budget-friendly NeoPixel, which I paid on sale, these are pretty nice uh, to have as a set. I will say the actual replica, I believe, is a bit bigger than these. Uh, these are still pretty accurate, especially for the price that you're paying, because you might be paying over a grand to get replica uh, NeoPixel Ahsoka lightsabers. Even though these aren't the same size as the replica, I would rather prefer them to be this size because if they're too big, they're going to be a lot harder to spin. I'm going to go ahead and show off a couple more fonts, and then we're going to go outside and do some spinning. Tell has this. Okay, so here's the Cal Kestis font. Let's do two more. Okay, so here's a Kenobi font. Okay, let's do one more where it's like a white font. Okay, here is the Ahsoka font. So they should be white. Uh, if they're not white, remember you can change the colors of them to make them more accurate. Okay, here are the Ahsoka sabers. They're really cool. I love the way they sound. And they're so white. Uh, I will say in person, they look a bit blue-ish for a white. However, on camera, these look incredible for white. But like I said, we're going to go ahead and go outside, do some spinning, some Jarkai spinning. Um, I'm not that great at it, but I have been practicing and learning. So we're going to see how much my practice has really paid off with these Ahsoka lightsabers. See you outside. Okay, so I'm currently on a rooftop. It is a little windy. It's also kind of cold. It's like 4 a.m., but I'm gonna go ahead and do the spin test for the Ahsoka. And yeah, let's see how well it goes. Spin one at a time. Let's spin with the Shoto now. Perfect font for the Shoto blade. It's like his size. I'm so scared to spin this fast because I'm afraid it's gonna fly out of my hands. I'd say the spin test was about maybe a 
I want to say nine and a half. I will say the hilts are too long for me to spin, but that's just my personal preference, but they're pretty good. And that is going to be all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe if you want to, and comment down below. What are your thoughts on these lightsabers? Are you going to pick them up before the sale ends? Or maybe what are your thoughts on the Ahsoka show? Uh, Dave Filoni is doing a great job with the show. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.